Finally, our special guest joining us now, Kelly Osborne. She became a household name at just 17, thanks to the hit reality show that we all loved, The Osbournes. She has since dominated the TV airwaves as a host and our social feeds with her fashion. We're talking about her brand new podcast today. Please welcome the one and only Kelly Osborne. Yeah, yo! Kelly, we have so much to talk to you about, but I know that you were, while you were figuring out the technical difficulties, you were overhearing our conversation. I'm so sorry about that. No, don't worry about it. We're glad that you figured it out. But, you know, you've always been very transparent and open book, and you've spoke, and a lot of young women have related to you about body positivity. And we wanted to know your thoughts. We were just speaking about Billie Eilish and her wearing something that her fans are not used to her seeing, right, in like that 1940s pinup. And some of her fans have voiced that they feel abandoned what do you make of that how does somebody somehow please their fans when they're just trying to stay true to themselves I have to be honest with you I think it's really selfish of her fans because I was in that position when I was I was 18 I had an album and I was touring and they were very cognizant of like never showing cleavage always had to keep covering up and because I had really big boobs when I was really young. And so I think that Billie Eilish, not to speak on behalf of her because I don't even know her, um, had a similar thing. But the truth is like, we're human beings, we evolve. What I liked when I was 17, I hated when I was 18. Mm. And I was completely different when I was 19. You're evolving as a human, you're figuring out what works for you, what doesn't. I think this is actually a very brave move for her because she's coming out and saying, I'm owning my body, this is me and this is who, who I wanna be, I wanna try something new. So instead of saying you've abandoned us, it might not be something that they like because they prefer the other way of dressing, but at the same time, she's just expressing herself. Nobody should ever, ever, ever be told how to express themselves, well said. how to portray themselves to the world. And that's the way she wants to do it. And I think she looks beautiful. Yeah, she looks stunning. She looks absolutely stunning. Uh, thank you for that. So we also want to check in with you. Two weeks ago, you announced your relapse. Now, addiction hits very close to home mm -hmm. for me. And I'm just, mm -hmm. I really appreciate your transparency. It, it breaks down that stigma. You're helping people by speaking out. How are you doing right now? Mm -hmm. You know, really good. Uh, I am very open about what it is that happened and what I'm doing to get myself back on track because it's all part of this journey. And it, I need to be honest because it's the only way I know how to hold myself accountable. I am doing uh, an outpatient program again, just like a little uh, therapy pick me up if, for lack of a better term. And it's, it's great. Like I, I want to get to the root of what it is that made me believe that I could drink like a normal person because I can't and just focus on staying happy and healthy because I really was before I started drinking again. Like I don't understand what happened and that's the nature of addiction and how everything can just be fine. You're on, And then all of a sudden you're like, whoa, what happened? I, I didn't expect this. So it's it, it was difficult. A bump in the road but we all have it so i just wanted to be open and and to the point about it and kind of tackle it head on rather than lying about it because right. i know i believe you're only as sick as your secrets and if i could have gone on and nobody would have known yeah but you're... i don't think that would have made me any better I think you're saving so many lives right now by saying this and just being open and honest, and I just appreciate that. Also, such a fan from the Osbournes. Ah, okay. Uh, moving on. I did. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I have to freak out. Uh, I did want to ask you about getting sober, and uh, is it harder being an Osborne and having to get sober? I also kind of wanted to go off script yes. here and just ask you, what are your thoughts on being California? sober i know we heard from demi lovato that she sometimes drinks sometimes smokes weed and you're saying i can't wanted to know your take on what that means to you uh, okay so i can't sometimes drink that that doesn't happen for me so i don't understand that 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 doesn't fall into my brain right. at all that there, there isn't that's not an option for me um look for me life is the pursuit of happiness and it's about what makes you happy if if 
you know, everybody works differently. It, it, there's not one set of rules for everyone because in when it comes to happiness, because it doesn't work that way. Um, I, I have, people have asked me about this. The only thing I can say is when people are like that, it means that they need a little bit of love and support mm. and something's not really going right in their life. So instead of sitting here and criticizing and dissecting her like everyone else does, I'm just going to sit here and say, I think a little bit more love and support and kindness. And I, 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 I don't agree with it. That's all. I appreciate that honesty. Thank you. Well, before we go, your podcast comes out tomorrow, Woo! May 4th. I'm so excited. It that. does. <laughs> I'm so excited. Is it true that you picked that date because it's a Star Wars day? Woo! Tell us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 because I'm like, may the 4th be with you. May I, we're going to be with you on May the 4th, you know? And it, yeah, I'm a Star Wars nerd. You can thank my brother for that. But <laughs> yeah, that's why I picked it. And, you know, our, our motto is what you call freaks, we call family. Everyone's welcome. Oh, and, it, and it's about, you know, everything. Nothing is off limits. We want this podcast to be that, that 45 minutes of just mental freedom where you can switch off and listen to something stupid or reverent or funny or health education or whatever it may be we're talking about that will make you forget about, you know, am I gonna be able to pay my mortgage? Am I gonna be able to feed my kids? Like whatever it is that's going on, just a mental reprieve for 45 minutes. And that that was our mission in doing this. Amazing. And I gotta tell you, your background's giving me joy. All those cause dolls. I love, I love that. It's like oh, I love that. I'm <laughs> Yeah, for many reasons. Thank you so much, Kelly Osborne, for stopping by yes, DBL. Said, <laughs> Make sure to check out her podcast. Thank you so debut. much for having me, ladies. We absolutely adore you. The Kelly Osborne and Jeff Beecher Show. You got to check it out on Podcast One. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks, Kelly.